Hey y'all, hey, it's Amir Renee. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be trying out a new foundation for y'all. It is Born This Way Matte Foundation. It's a one ounce bottle and it retails for $40. It says it's 24 hour, undetectable, super long wear foundation, oil free, oil controlling, waterproof, transfer resistant. We're going to see because I have combination to oily skin. I want to say more oily, especially in the hotter weather. And usually I love a full coverage foundation that's mattifying and I do not have to use a powder to put on top of it. I like a quick uh, foundation application. I don't want to have to put on a liquid foundation and have to set up with powder. I do set my highlight of course, but my whole face, I don't, I never put powder on my face. So if the foundation is supposed to be mattifying, then I shouldn't have to use a powder. So I'm going to show you how I got this look. It's more so about the actual foundation. If it's really 24 hour foundation, I'm not going to keep it on for 24 hours. But I'm going to keep it on for a couple of hours and see how it does. I already moisturized my face and I'm going in with a mattifying primer. L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock. I really like this one. I have combination to oily skin. I'll be using a Dead Bee Blender to apply the foundation. I already know I don't like this foundation because it's giving me a real dewy look. I don't know if you can tell my face looks really dewy and why hasn't it dried down to a matte finish yet. Also, I put two layers on already and I can still see my dark marks on the side of my face. I personally wouldn't call this a full coverage foundation. I would say a buildable foundation. You can build it up to be a full coverage maybe. Okay, so I covered my dark marks just now. But usually when I hear full coverage, I would think one layer should do the trick. Like my cheeks, can you see that already? My cheeks, still dewy and I can see my pores. Like it's making my pores shiny. I don't have any issues with a lot of pores or oily pores too much. Sometimes, depending on if my skin wanna add up, sometimes I might have a large pores, but for the most part, I don't. So, yeah, I don't like it. As far as the color, it's a good match. I feel like this is my third time going in with some foundation to get a coverage that I would be satisfied with because I'm still not satisfied with this coverage. I usually would go in under my eye to highlight, but the foundation would cover my dark circles under my eyes and it looks like it's not. Look, it's making it like a gray color. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face because this video was more so about this foundation, if I like it. So let me go ahead on and throw my face on real quick. I'm gonna use Milani Concealer, color 65. Going in with Milani again, the color 45 to highlight. Marcier. I'm gonna clean my eyebrows up and throw on my lashes and I'll be right back. To contour my forehead, I'm gonna use Milani Concealer in the shade 175.
it looks really good on my skin. I will say it's a great match. But I already could tell it ain't it for me. But we're going to see. I'm going to check back in with y'all in a couple hours. Right now it's 5 p.m. And I'll be back in a couple hours so you can see how this foundation holds up. Alright, so I'm going to come a little closer. So you can go ahead and get a good look at how the foundation looks right now. I only had it on for about five minutes and my nose look oily to me and the corners of my nose already look oily. If it don't do what it says it's going to do, oh, you will be going back to Ulta tomorrow. All right, I'll be back, y'all. Hey, y'all. So I'm back. It's been about five hours. It's 10 o'clock now and this is how my face is looking. It's not as dewy as I thought it was going to be, maybe because I didn't have it on as long as I did the previous day. Cause I'm going to show a clip of how my face looked right here. The other day when I went outside, it was hot that day and I was out when I had my mask on for a couple hours. Yeah. Mm -mm. But today I was in the house mostly. I did step out to go grab something to eat. I had a mask on for probably about 15, 20 minutes, not that long. So I think putting a mask on helped to magnify my face. Use this as my little pointer. I still can see right here, my cheek area is dewy, real. It's not matte, like what the heck? The name of the foundation has matte in it. It says matte. Why is my face oily? Why am I glistening? Right after I applied the foundation, I knew I was not gonna like it because the corners of my nose was cracking already. I don't like how I look. And it has my pores looking really large. Yeah, my whole face, I just don't like it. Does look like a great color match right here on this camera. Maybe with the rain light and everything, but in daylight, it look a little light. When I had went in our room and my boyfriend saw me for the first time with this foundation on, it was like, it looked a little white. I was like, what? So I ran the bathroom, because my bathroom, like, it tells you how it really looks. I look like, uh-uh, I look, yeah, no, no, no. I don't even know what to describe it, but it wasn't right. It's, it's a no for me. So you will be going back to Ulta, and I guess I'll be exchanging for something else. And so my ladies that are oily, who wear mattifying foundation, please let me know what is your favorite brand so I can try it out. I'm having a hard time finding a mattifying foundation, so let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite mattifying foundation. So to sum up this whole video, it's supposed to be matte. Transfer resistance, oh, which is a lie because right after I put on the foundation, I touched my face on a mistake and my hands had the foundation all over it. So how is it transfer resistant? But that's a story. You lied about that. It's not transfer resistance. It hasn't even been 24 hours. It's only been five hours and it's not mad. I just don't like it. I just don't like nothing about it. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn your notifications on. If you have not, so you will be notified when I upload a new video. See you next time. Bye.